Hey, let's take a look at the dependency table and the corresponding PDM uh, network diagram. So I've already redrawn it in APU time, the process mining and autonomous execution platform. So we can uh, enable critical path analysis and uh, let's check uh, the numbers if it is all correct. So we have uh, three hours of uh, duration of the first task. So the early start is zero, early finish is duration. So early finish is uh, three hours. Let, let's go uh, forward. Uh, early start of the activity C is three hours uh, plus two hours. We have five. Uh, three hours uh, plus four hours, we have seven. Uh, here we go, five hours plus two, plus two, seven. Five hours plus one is six. Um, seven hours plus uh, five hours, we have 12. And finally, we are going to, to, to 12 because we need to uh, choose the highest number of the, of the late, uh, uh, of the early finish. So the highest is 6, 12. So we have 12 plus 4, we have 16. And finally here, early finish is 7 and 16. So we have early start 16 hours and early finish. Uh, plus three, nine hours. So this uh, this is uh, the early start and early finish of the, of the activities. Uh, the age activity doesn't have any successor. So the late finish is uh, 19 hours and we we go we go uh, in in the reverse mode. So the, the phase two of the critical chain uh, or critical part analysis is, uh, is uh, uh, going uh, going back. So early uh, uh, late finish is 19 minus uh, three hours is 16. Here we go, 16 minus uh, duration is 12. Uh, 16 minus, minus two is uh, 14. Uh, here uh, 12 minus five is seven. Mm, 12 minus 1 is 11, uh, 16 minus 2 is 14, uh, and now we have uh, two successors here, so we need to choose the the lowest uh, late, uh, late start here, so we, we go with 11 because uh, 14 is higher, 11 minus 2 is uh, 9, mm, here we go, 7 minus 4 is 3, and uh, as well, the, uh, the uh, lowest the late start here is 3, minus, uh, minus, minus 3 is late start is uh, 0. So the critical part is uh, when, uh, when the late start minus early start is 0, or the late finish uh, minus uh, early finish is also 0, uh, so the critical part is A, B, D, G, H. So if we, if we look at the critical part, we know that this process uh, can be delivered in one day and 42 minutes with a buffer of 30%. Uh, uh, so, so the flat time is 19, 19 hours. Uh, of uh, execution of this of this process so uh, another another uh, calculations here are total float and uh, free float uh, it means that the to total float means that um, the highest highest number of uh, of minutes or hours or days uh, the task can be delayed to do not affect uh, the wall structure so the critical part uh, always has zeros, but uh, some tasks can be delayed uh, to don't affect uh, the final uh, age, uh, age activity. Uh, and the free float means uh, that the activity, the highest, no, uh, highest the delay of the activity to do not affect uh, any successor. 
uh, how this uh, calculated the total float is uh, the uh, difference uh, between between uh, late finish and early finish so the 16 minus uh, 16 is uh, zero uh, also zero 11 minus 5 is 6 uh, 7 minus uh, 7 uh, 0 so for the critical uh, critical plot it is uh, it is still the same uh, 14 minus 5 is uh, 9 and 19 9, 9 uh, minus 3 is uh, 6 and how the free flow is calculated it is it is uh, similar we need to go from the from the backward backward uh from from the bottom up uh free float is calculated uh as follows here is a zero because there is no successor but for the successor we need to choose the the uh the uh, least early start so 16 uh minus uh early start uh so we have uh four minus minus duration so we have uh, zero uh here we go uh the least uh least early start from the successor is uh 12 uh minus five minus one we have six here uh the least early start is five five so we, we have five minus uh, three minus minus two we have zero uh and so on so we we can see that the uh, that the sum tasks uh can uh have a delay for six hours to do not affect uh activity age at the end but the free float is zero so the delay of the c activity will also delay these uh, successors but uh, if you delay for six hours uh, you do not affect the activity age at the end of the of the process so you do not affect the critical part here so this is this is uh, this is uh, how how does it work and how ip time can autonomously uh, calculate your your critical critical part and now goes to some some real real uh, production so we, we have uh, the process like uh, like this uh, we have some decision here so uh, let's simulate that we are uh, uh, going to say no in in this decision and we can see that this this pro process can be uh, executed in nine days and four hours with a with a buffer of uh, 30 30 percent so currently i can create the pro uh, project uh, which will be uh, called production martin and i can say that the i i need a delay for uh, nine days we have two weekends here to, so I, I will count with the uh, 13 days so maybe maybe uh, 29 uh, of august i will create the project uh, project like this uh the wall process is transferred into real project and i i will say immediately uh, no in the decision here and currently ip time is calculating the the optimal optimal work time schedule for for all employees so we have a project here the ai scheduler uh, is uh, creating the harmonogram and the gantt ai will show you uh the workload of your people so this is uh, like a navigation in the in the car uh ip time can calculate the optimal work time schedule and will tell you if uh, if the projects are are deliverable in in the correct time or, or so so you've probably noticed the update because uh because the wall schedule uh, were already uh updated and we take a look at the at the, our our project uh, that we have a, a deadline in uh, 29 uh, of August and the delivery will be eight hours before before the deadline so AP time currently calculated the new schedule so all employees have, uh, have uh, updated uh, priorities on on the Kanban uh, based on the AI scheduler so everybody knows uh, what to do in uh, in uh, 
corrected time uh, to deliver all my running projects uh, in time. So uh, this is how you can use the critical critical part analysis to detect uh, the long longest uh, longest part uh, in your projects and uh, what is the what is the time uh, needed to to plan a project like this. Uh, it is also influenced by the pipeline. So uh, we have a invoicing here and we have a pipeline here. So uh, there is a three days of postpone of the project after after the invoice is created because it is nonsense that, that my customer will pay my invoice immediately if I send it. So we need to calculate with this uh, in in the in the uh, critical part as well. So if you if you see. Uh, early finish in is uh, in two hours and fifteen minutes, but the early start here is three days and ten hours uh, and fifteen minutes. So the pipeline is already respected in in this process uh, because uh, we need to calculate with all all uh, activities and all pipelines which influences the the real production. So this is this is pretty easy. Uh, and uh, enjoy. Bye.